G'day guys, welcome back. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. In this video I'm going to tie a hair's ear caddis. Uh, pretty simple fly, good euro nymphing fly. In the vise I have a size 16 jig hook with a 4mm bead head. Alright, let's get into it. I'm going to lay some Semperfly wax thread in brown olive. down to our hook then I'm going to tie in my copper wire stick that in the back of the bead slot there tie that in Happy when you're happy with that and it's secure. Get your I've got some hens hair dubbing. This is doesn't actually say the colour on it, but it's it's an olive brown sort of olive greeny type colour. So we're gonna create a dubbing noodle. So I'll we'll just Lay a bit of that on to our thread. Don't have to go overboard. Less is sometimes more with dubbing, and you can add more if you need to. I'll just add that in. Pretty happy with that dubbing noodle. Now let's just wrap forward to the back of that bead. Happy with that. Got a sort of taper. You want it. To, you want it to be slightly tapered, not over the top, but just slightly tapered. And that there is great. I'm happy with that. And we're going to bring our body material, which is copper medium wire UTC ultra wire. Okay, so we're going to. Bring one wrap at the at the rear, and then we're gonna bring it over and wrap up towards the back of the bead head. Nice tight wraps till we get up to the back of the bead. Then we're gonna secure that in with a few wraps of thread. Once you're happy, helicopter that off. And now I want to get some CDC and we're going to add a CDC collaring. So choose a CDC feather that you like. I think this one will be good. It's not, the fibers aren't too long. Um, and I've got my little paper clip here. I'm going to clamp down and I'm just going to leave a few millimetres of feather fibres and then I'm going to trim up and along those fibres. That's that. Now we need to set up a dubbing loop. So I need it about as long as my clamp there so I'll just make it just a little bit a little bit longer than the clamp okay so from there we get our dubbing spinner I'll chuck that in okay, so we've got our dubbing dubbing loop there and we're going to add in our clip I'm happy with that there. We'll just clamp that with our fingers and there we go. Now we spin that up. I'm pretty happy with that. They're all caught in. So let's just wrap
our CDC around like so. Just play with it as you go around. Okay. So you got a bit of a bit of a collar going on there, CDC. Now you want to secure that dubbing loop with a few wraps of your thread. In front and behind. Now trim off the excess dubbing loop. Now I think we've got a few fibers caught but that's just normal. It's pretty normal. So we'll just finish off our fly with a whip finish. A few turns, one, two, three, four, four turns, bang. Happy days, happy with that. Now what I didn't do is put any glue on that thread so what I will do is we'll finish it off with a bit of glue on the thread. You need to make your flies durable, otherwise they just come apart on the water and it's really frustrating. So this is a step you really always should do where you can. Now pretty happy with that. It's got a nice buggy look to it. CDC is great. Now keep in mind that the CDC will slow down the sink rate of the fly as will the hair dubbing. Let's get our dubbing brush. In my case it's a uh, chopstick with a bit of velcro. And let's just brush out the hairs here. And with that we'll be brushing out the CDC as well, any that got trapped. You want to give it a nice furry look. You need the general shape of what you're to what the bug you're trying to imitate. And I think that that Is going to do the job. It's nice and furry. It's got legs and it's got the shape you want. And that is it, the CDC Hairs Ear Caddis. It has lots of movement in the water. CDC really moves around and it's a very natural looking pattern uh, for picky trout. If you haven't liked or subscribed, please consider doing so. It really helps me out. Thank you and goodbye.